What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Colossal and Dragapult combo team for Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. Pushing 20,000 subscribers and it blows my mind. Seriously, thank you so much for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But Colossal is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Colossal has that Steam Engine and Weakness policy. So pair it up with Dragapult. Dragapult can hit a nice little surf. Proc the Steam Engine and Weakness policy, giving Colossal a plus six speed boost and a plus two attack boost, and Colossal can just get work done from there. Colossal has Rock Slide, it has Flare Blitz, it has Explosion and Protect. Loving this moveset, cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. Dragapult's going to be our second Pokemon. Like I already mentioned, it is going to be Colossal's best friend, but this Pokemon can do some work on its own. It has Clear Body, it has Focus Sash as item, Dragon Dance, Dragon Darts, Surf, and Terra Blast. Tauros is going to be our third Pokemon. Tauros is very situational, but still a very strong Pokemon at the same time. It is Intimidate, the Safety Goggles as an item, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, Wave Crash, and Protect. Need to take a quick sip of water. My, my, my throat's been scratching. I feel like I have to cough. So I'm trying not to cough as much as I can on recording. But back to the team preview. Hydrogon's going to be our fourth Pokemon. Hydrogon has Levitate, the Scope ones as its item, Focus Energy, Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Protect. Very solid moveset for any Hydrogon. We're rocking with the Brute Bonnet for our first Parallax Pokemon. Fifth Pokemon on the team with Protosynthesis. The Covert Cloak has its item. It's got Rage Powder, Seed Bomb, Spore, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. So strong all around. It's got Quirk Drive. It's got the Soul Vest, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Bolt Switch. Guys, you want to write the team for yourself? But the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Colossal and Dragapult team. We're hopping into our first match, and I'm feeling good, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against an Indeedee and Arm Rouge combo. Really going to be tough, alongside with a bunch of other strong Pokemon. They got Iron Bundle, Iron Hands, Flutter Mane, and Hydreigon. It's looking tough, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I'm not going to lie. The Steam Engine Colossal combo is looking fire. It is looking real good right now. It's looking real good right now. Right? It's looking solid. That can also terrestrialize you and just pop rock slides, correct? Because if I terrestrialize you, everything should still work. Boost the speed stat when the fire when the Pokemon is hit by a fire or water type move. Yes, okay, cool. I'm with it. I'm with Steam Engine. I'm with Steam Engine Colossal. So I might just terrestrialize him, hit him with a surf, and just get after battle that way. I mean Delibird would be a problem here. But if Delibird does come out here, I might just hard swap, but still, Delibird's a problem. It's definitely a problem. Definitely a problem. But I'm going to lead them to. I am going to bring, I think, Hydreigon in the back end. I do like Iron Hands, so I'm definitely going to bring Iron Hands. So I'm going to bring Iron Hands, and then last but not least, it's either Hydreigon or Brute Bonnet. Or I could bring Brute Bonnet and Hydreigon. Because Iron Hands is okay here. It's nothing crazy. Brute Bonnet doesn't have Sucker Punch, so I don't really like it there either. But I'm going to go Hydreigon and Iron Hands. I think that's my best bet. I like it a lot. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. The only problem we would have here is if our opponent leads to Iron Bundle. I don't mind if he leads to Arm Rouge and Ndidi. We could be thriving up against that. But Iron Bundle is just a problem. It's going to be a problem. So let's see how this one plays out. So we're just going to pray. No Iron Bundle here for the lead and we should be fine. Let's see. Iron Hands and... What do I mean? Okay. So uh, Fake Out can come out here. That's tough news. I guess we just protect here, correct? I guess we just protect. I mean, mm, it's tough. I mean, I can still proc uh, my pop, my stuff. So, you know what? I'm going to still do it. I'm still going to do it. I'm still just going to Thrasilize and go for the Rock Slide. I mean, he is going to fake me out, if anything. I'm just going to go for the Surf. Proc it anyway, because we already. I think I already know what's happening, right? I think he's going to fake out my Colossal and bring my Dragapult down to Focus Ash. And at the same time, I can still proc the Weakness Policy, all that good stuff. So, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I'm fine with him faking me out. It's no problem. It's no problem. Or maybe he thinks I'm protecting. Because I could obviously just protect. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna protect just in case he, he doesn't end up going for it. So we'll see. Yep, there's fake out. That's fine. I'm guessing a moon blast or a dazzling gleams coming out here, correct? Moon blast, yeah, we have focus ash. We have focus ash. So we still proc the weakness policy, all that good stuff. We're gonna have a speed boost, and Rockside's gonna be able to fly here. Rockside is gonna be able to fly here. So Surf still comes out here. And the reason we terrestrialize right there is because 
instead of taking four times super effective damage, we only take two times super effective damage. That works out well. So now we have all this. Our speed should be... We should be faster than all these guys, right? Even with their speed heightened, I believe we should still be fine. Because look at this. I'd be surprised if, if, if that Fluttermane outspeeds this. Look at that. Plus six speed? It's ridiculous. So from here, Rock Slides are a must. Rock Slides should be able to take out the Fluttermane, no problem. And then we should just be able to Dragon Darts this thing down. Do some nice damage to it. I'm with it. Let's do it. Rock Slide comes out here. Again, Fluttermane should die out here. It's weakness policy proc, it's stab, it's also terror, yeah, big time damage. Fluttermane, get on out of here. And we also get a crit on the Iron Hands, which is really good for us. Even though I think Iron Hands might KO us here. Unless we KO first, but we're not going to. He's probably just going to Drain Punch, get some HP back, but I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Yep, there's Drain Punch, we end up dying. He's going to get a little bit of HP back, but I think Dragon Darts might be able to KO. Wow, dude, crits are flying right now. We got a crit on one of our Rock Slides and one of our Dragon Darts. And he just got a crit on a Drain Punch. So, wow. Those are flying right now. The critical hit ratio is out and about. But I'll take that all day. I feel like we got a lot of value out of that. We got rid of the Flutter Man, which is a top tier Pokemon. And we're going to be able to bring out... Do I bring out Iron Hands here? Potentially, right? Potentially. Or do I just go into you? I feel like going into you is our best bet. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Hodgecon here. A little bit of Hodgecon action. So they're going to also send out Hodgecon. A little scary here. It is definitely a little scary. And he's definitely going to Terrasilize their Hodgecon. The Terrasilize and the Hodgecon definitely coming out here. I feel like I just protect mine and, and wait a turn. And I send a nice little Dragon Darts their way. So he's definitely going to Terrasilize the Hodgecon. And this battle's... Gonna be a good one. It's definitely gonna be a good one because we still have our iron hands in the back end. And we're protecting our Hydreigon here just so we can fake out theirs later. He's gonna tear it into fire. Eh. I can deal with that. I think I can deal with that. It's still gonna be very close. The protect comes out from here. I'm hoping he's popping a Draco Meteor into that slot. That'd be your best bet. Dragon Darts does fly here. We're chipping up some nice damage on both ends. And he ends up going for a flamethrower. So he just wants to KO my uh, Hydreigon here. I'm fine with that. So he KOs my Hydreigon. And we go from here. I could double down into his Hydreigon slot this turn. I kind of want to. Well, we got to get rid of you for sure. We got to get rid of you for sure. Because we're not letting that thing get a KO. We cannot let that thing get a KO. So what I'm thinking here is... What I'm thinking here is just faking out the Hydreigon. And just KO in his Iron Hands, right? Well, this KO, that's the real question. Will that KO? Because I don't want to waste a Draco Meteor. I really don't want to waste a Draco Meteor. I really don't want to waste a Draco Meteor. I really do not want to. Let's see your speed set. So you are fully boosted in speed. What about you? What's your speed set looking like? You're just special defense. You're very bulky on special defense side. I like that. Huh. Yeah, we cannot allow Drain Punch to come out here. We just simply can't. I'm just gonna fake this thing out. I'm just gonna fake this thing out. We fake out you. We don't pick up the KO, which kind of sucks, but we get the flinch. And Dark Pulse, we do outspeed. Can we KO? We do not. Can we get a flinch on that? Flamethrower coming out here. So this thing's just ripping with flamethrowers. That's fine. You are very bulky on special defense side with this soul vest as well. And I like that. Okay. I'm cool with that. So from here, I know we outspeed and I want to get rid of Iron Hands. I cannot afford Drain Punch coming in there, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to Drain Punch this thing down. And potentially make it a one-on-one. -on -one. This might be a one-on-one -on -one after this. And if they have a special attacker, we should be thriving. We should be thriving. So we take out the Iron Hands, no problem. I'm thinking like a Draco Meteor comes out here and finishes off my Hydreigon, correct? Yep, there it is. But he misses. But he misses. That is huge. That is huge. And Drain Punch coming out here. So like I said, I was going to say, we're potentially looking at a one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what I thought was going to happen. Hydreigon should be dead here, but now it's a two-on-one. -on but I'll let you guys know if we would have won this battle without our Hydreigon. Say his Draco Meteor landed, our Hydreigon dies out here, then we Drain Punch and take it out. Turns to a 1v1, but again, I'll let you guys know if we actually would have won this game. If he did not miss that Draco Meteor. The final Pokemon is going to be Iron, Iron Bundle, and yeah, we would have won this game. No problem whatsoever with just a one-on-one -on -one with my Iron Hands. So even if that Draco Meteor landed, we win this battle all the time. I'm gonna throw a Draco Meteor. 
And I'm just going to drain punch it. Considering he has no terrestrialization, Iron Hands is boosted on special defense. And he also has a soul vest. He would have been thriving here. He would have been thriving. But Hydrogon survives that. Fear Comedia is going to fly. We land ours because I'm the best. <laughs> and then we bring this thing down to Focus Ash and Iron Hands can come out here. Put a little punchy on the Iron Bird. And we're going to say GG's. We are going to say GG's. Hot start for us in today's video. Start off 1-0. Get this dude on out my lobby. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Dragapult team. Also with uh, Illusion Zoroark. Definitely scared of that, considering we dominate it with our Illusion Zoroark team. They also have Fluttermane, Dragonite, Annihilate, and last but not least, the Dreaded Iron Bundle. Such a good Pokemon. We were able to beat them last uh, battle, but hopefully this battle we can keep that rolling. But I think they're going to end up leading some sort of illusion, right, with Zoroark. It just seems like... The best bet for them i could go into colossal and dragon Ball. i really do like that I, honestly God, i really like that but i could also see a final gambit annihilate coming out here which is definitely very scary definitely very scary do i want to deal with that do i want to deal with a final gambit not really not really right definitely terrifying definitely terrifying so you know what huh i feel like there's no way around the final gambit right I feel like there's no way around it. You know, we're just gonna go Dragon Pole Colossal regardless. We're gonna bring them back out here. We gonna get ripping with them. So I'm gonna bring in them too. I am going to bring in the Iron Hands considering Iron Hands is just so good. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go with my Brute Bonnet, get some Spores rolling. I am really digging that. I'm really digging that. So you know, we're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a, a two and a winning record. Man, my throat's been so scratchy, man. I, I, like, I hate coughing when I'm recording, but sometimes I just have to do it. So if I do cough, bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to drink as much liquids as possible to kind of just keep replenishing the throat, but we're trying here because we talk a lot on the recordings. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying all that good stuff. I'm pretty much over my sickness. I, my throat's just killing me. That's a, that's about it right now. But he's going to end up going into Fluttermane and, and Dragapult. So from here, I just feel like we Terrasize and we pop a lovely little rock slide, right? Lovely little rock side. Because the only way we don't, this combo does not end up connecting well, would be if Dragapult, if their Dragapult outspeeds mine. But mine's fully boosted in speed. Actually, it's not. It's not. That's terrifying. Why isn't the Eevees fully into speed? Why isn't that a thing? But still, we're going to roll with it. That's a, fa that's a fast one right there. I'm just going to Terrasalize. I'm going to pop the rock side. We doing it. We are, we're going for it. We're going for it. But yeah, we got all the shinies out here. Shiny Dragon Bolt's always looking good with that yellow. I love shiny Fluttermane. I think it looks amazing. But he ends up withdrawing. That's perfectly fine by me. He's going to go into Annihilate. Perfectly fine by me. Totally fine by me. So we're guaranteed to survive these shots right here. We're fine. We have Focus Sash on Dragon Bolt. And this turn, wow, it's looking lovely. It's looking lovely. We love it. We love it. So, Terrasalize our boy here. And the best part about the Surf combo is it takes off all Focus Ashes too, because it hits the opponents as well. We end up dropping a Surf, we outspeed the Fluttermane, so that's big time. Now my Colossal outspeeds the Fluttermane. So if we just land this Rock Slide, we're going to tell it to go home. Weakness Policy, Steam, Engine, Procken. We're going to come out here, come on yo, land the Slide. Who dodged the Rock Slide? Who just dodged the Rock Slide? Annihilate, okay. I don't know if I like that, not too sure if I like that. We do take out the Fluttermane, but the problem with Annihilate here is if it's Choice Scarfed, it will outspeed my Annihilate or my... Will it outspeed? No, it's Leftovers. Okay, we're fine. I'm cool with that. Never mind. We're, we're not worried about anything. We're not worried about anything. Solid first turn from us. Love it. I love it. So he's going to end up bringing out Dragapult of its own. So Polsky comes out here. Seems like another easy Rock Slide turn with Dragon Darts following behind it. So we're going to Dragon Darts. It's going to hit both sides of the opponent, and we're just going to pop a nice little Rock Slide across the board. Right, yeah, it makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. We might even see a Terra from our opponent here. We shall see. Yeah, here comes Terrasalization. We're kind of hoping it's to Annihilate. Get off that Fighting type so our Rock can be neutral. And it is going to be Annihilate. What are you Terra into? Steel. Okay, so nothing too much better here. <laughs> so he ends up Terrasalizing into Steel. That's fine. I can Flare Blitz the next turn if he doesn't KO me. Rock Side's going to fly here. Not too worried about the Dragon Bolt here. Pretty much just dump on it, right? Yeah, bring it down the red. Now, if my Dragapult... Oh, it does not go first. I was going to say, if my Dragapult goes first, we pick up the KO, but... Yeah, my Dragapult's not maxed out on speed. 
So both Dragon Darts are going to slide over here, and then I'm going to be able to soak pretty well. So he does that. Train Punch going to fly here, and we soak. So we soak that, and I feel like from here, we just Dragon Darts Flare Blitz, right? I could explode if I wanted, but Flare Blitz obviously going to be the play. Even though I already know what a Nihilip's doing. If it, if it had any, like, any sense here, he would 100% go into a Protect. But I'm going to see if he doesn't do it. He does not. GG's. That pretty much wraps up the game. Annihilate, gone. My Colossal probably is going to die here to recoil damage. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much wraps. It's pretty much wraps. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, I'm feeling good today. And I'm showcasing out today. Did I survive that? No, no shot. Yeah, I'm dead. Colossal getting off a ton of value. That's how strong this Pokemon is in rank battles. Really, really good when paired up with the uh, Dragapult. Just does a lot of work. He's going to end up Phantom forcing me. I have Focus Ash, and now we get rid of Dragapult. We get rid of Dragapult. No problem whatsoever. And it turns into a, a 3v1, right? 3v1. Woo! Feeling good. Feeling real good. Easy second battle. Light work second battle. Telling you, if you're going up against a Colossal and Dragapult team, or any type of Colossal team, you gotta, you have to be ready for it. You have to be ready for it. So always lead something that can counter it. Think think outside the box when you're trying to counter it. Because you know the, the Dragon Pulse is gonna have the Focus Ash. You already know what the, you already know what items they're holding as well. It's just, it's just GG's. But I'm gonna fake out here. I'm gonna pop a Dragon Darts and this match is over. Battle was canceled, 2-0. Oh. Let's hop into a third and final. Look for a perfect record. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the third and final battle. We are guaranteed ourselves a winning record, but let's go out here and grab ourselves a perfect record. Going up against an Iron Bundle and Great Tusk team. Very, very strong team with Indeedee and Arm Rouge. We already know that's a problem. And then Dragonite and, last but not least, rolling out with King Gambit. So Colossal and Dragapults would work very well here if they don't lead the Iron Bundle. But I have an odd feeling they are, are going to lead the Iron Bundle. So I really don't want to deal with that. I am going to lead Hydreigon. Hydreigon's going to be solid here, especially up against the Ndidi combo. And I am also going to lead... Did I lead Tauros? I don't really like Tauros in this situation. I know Intimidate will work well on a few of these Pokemon. Well, pretty much only two. Dragonite and the Great Tusk. But other than that, I don't really like anything about the Tauros here. So again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Tauros is very situational. But I'm going to lead Iron Hands, Hydreigon. I am going to bring the lovely Brute Bonnet. And then I think Dragapult on its own is just phenomenal. It's very fast, has the Focus Ash, can guarantee getting off some shots. I like it all around. So we're going to bring in Dragapult here. We're going to look to grab ourselves a winning record. But again, Colossal, Dragapult combo, insanely strong. And we could definitely sweep our opponent here if they don't lead the Iron Bundle. But I have a feeling they're going to lead the Iron Bundle. So I figured I just wouldn't even risk it. I would not risk it. Let's see. It's going to be the Bundle. Like I said, I'm not going to risk it. Awesome turn from us. That, that works solid. So he leads to Great Tusk. He leads to Deli Deli Bird. And I feel like we just fake out the Great Tusk. And we get after it. Because I think... I think Deli Bird might even just... Uh, protect here. I'm going to Thrasilize. I really like this Thrasilize type. And I'm going to chip up some damage on that. I'm just going to fake out the... Uh, I'm just going to fake out the uh, the Tusk here. Because Tusk might even Thrasilize and pop some uh, EQs. We might just go for headlong rush. I'm just gonna straight up give the little clap skis here. So bundle has a few different options it can do. It can icy wind me if it wants to, which I think it's gonna be its play. Grant a little bit of speed control for his uh, tusk. But if that's the case, we get off a nice free little uh, dark pulse here, chipping up some nice damage, and we'll go from there. So we have some protecting the tusk. Are you double protecting? I don't think you are. I think you're icy winding, right? I think you're icy winding. Fake out comes out here, gets blocked. Let's see what the Deli Deli Bird does. Free try, hopefully. Icy win. Like I said, smart play. Just play it slow here. Gra grab some speed control. Kind of go from there. If it gets a crit on my Iron Hands. Ends up dropping my speed. I, I might end up swapping my Iron Hands. Probably going for the, the, the ground move, right? Probably going for the ground move, if I had to guess. And you know what? He might even go for Protect EQ. So, you know what? I'm just going to focus energy here. And do I protect on you? I do not. I think I just swap you into a Pokemon like Brute Bonnet here. I think that's my play. I think that is my play. I like it. I like it. So we're looking for some nice reads here. Again, I do think the... Actually, why would he EQ? He's probably just going to headlong rush, but still. I like the focus energy here. Deli Bird still might protect. It's going to go for an Encore. Who just went for an Encore? That had to have been Deli Bird. The Deli Bird goes for an Encore, and you close combat me. 
Wow. Really hurts soul. So he goes for the encore into the fake outside. Luckily we did swap, but still he dumps all my hydrogen, no problem. So encore coming in caught here. Was not expecting that close combat to come across. I, I seriously thought he was just going straight after my boy there. So from here, I can bring back out you if I want to. I think I do. I just bring back out Iron Hands. And I think I just try to take out the Deli Bird, right? Do I just try to take out Deli Bird? I could Drain Punch for the KO here. I know I have Fake Out, but... Mm. I just want to put this thing to sleep. I just want to put this thing to sleep. That's going to be my play. We'll see what he wants to do here. Headlong Rush will do me so dirty. But I think it protects his turn anyway. We're getting ripped right now. We are getting ripped, and we're in a tough situation here. We are in a tough, tough situation here. Because that was a great play by our opponents to get the upper hand there. Popping the close combat instead of going after my uh my iron hands. But on top of that, they had Encore, so there was no need to go after my Iron Hands, especially if they Encored me in a fake out. He ends up going for a free strike. Can you soak this fruit? You do soak very well. Pretty solid there. Headlong Rush coming in here. Probably dead. Oh, free sash. Free sash. We love a free sash. So now we're back in this game here. We are right back in this game. Considering Spore's coming out here, we're putting you to sleep. We're going to take out the, the Iron Bundle, and we're going to get some HP back. So we get lucky there. Free focus dash. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. And we get a crit there. We were KOing regardless. So we get a little bit of HP back. Might be able to soak up a shot. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We shall see. But big time support comes out there. Gotta start seed bombing that 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 elephant right there. Because <laughs> I think it's just a problem. But they got their honest X Pokemon. And oh. That is ugly. I'm gonna drain punch this. He's probably going to thrash slice. And I'm just going to go for the seed mom. Yeah. That's my play. That is my play. I am terrified of this Great Tusk. The Great Tusk defense is down, though. It's minus two. If I can land a seed bomb, we can get off some big time damage. The Great Tusk is going to be slumped. He goes for an ice spinner. Can we eat that? Can you soak this? You do soak that. Let's go. Let's go. That's big time turn. Sea bomb comes out here, and we give him a free focus ash. No, he has focus ash. The drain punch isn't really going to do anything here. We're going to hope it's going to be asleep for one more turn. The reason I drain punch in that is because I did think it's going was going to terrestrialize. And we get a crit. I'll take it. And we'll get a little bit of HP back. Back into the yellow. Back into the yellow here. What do I do? Do I swap the iron hands? Huh. What do I do here? I have to get rid of you, right? You're you're my you're my you're my first Pokemon I gotta get rid of. I'm gonna do that and you know what? I'm just gonna rage powder the shot. The reason I'm gonna rage powder is because I need my iron hand surviving. So it just in case this this tusk wakes up here. Hopefully it's still asleep. It does wake up. And he goes for a headlong rush instead of an EQ. So I gotta hope that my boy can eat this up. I gotta hope that my boy can eat this up. Actually, man, yeah, I mean, we need to eat this up. But I have my Dragon Ball in the back end. Ice Spinner comes out here. Can you soak this? You might be Choice Bandit. You do soak that. Let's go. We're soaking really well here. We're gonna Drain Punch you down. He is probably going to Terrasalize, which sucks. Because <laughs> I'm so low HP. But we're making it. We're making a fight here. We're making a fight. All right, we have Pult here. I have no protects, which sucks on my Iron Hands part. So I would love to protect it this turn. And we know he's Terrasalized. So Gambit's gonna come out here. He's just gonna sucker punch me down. And this match pretty much wraps, right? I can't Terra. I can't do anything. I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch into this thing, and I, I guess I just go for Dragon Arts here. Let's see who ends up Terrasalize. It's gotta be Dragonite, right? Just straight into normal typing here. And yeah, this match is wraps. He has King Gambit. King Gambit can Sucker Punch, take out my Iron Hands. Super effective into my Dragon Bolt. I feel like the only way we, we win this is if he doesn't 
if he doubles down in my Dragon Ball. That's the only way we win this. So then we actually might win this, because look, he's got Sucker Punch. Not even bring us down to Sash. We had Sash anyway. And we outspeed here. So that's going to get some nice damage. And the thing here is, he has to double down into my Dragon Ball. Which he doesn't. Because if he doubled down in my Dragon Ball, we probably could have won this match. And the reason I say that is, say he takes out my Dragon Ball, I get off a Drain Punch, I take out that King Gambit, I get all that HP back, and then we can just 1v1 all day. But now, we're sitting in just an awful spot here. No shot of us winning, he's just going to keep going for Sucker Punches, it's game, set, match. We're going to run this one, 2-1 for today's video, not too bad, got to showcase Colossal and Dragon Ball to its fullest potential. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another winning record added to this channel. Colossal and Dragon Ball absolutely showcased today. Did really good with them in match number one, and even better with them in match number two. Match number three, we did not bring them, but Dragon Ball did pretty good on its own. I feel like everybody did good on the team, except for Taurus, because we did not showcase him in today's video. But we got to use him in previous videos, so it's all good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.